you look like you're enjoying your football. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, especially after last week. Obviously, um, great win in the derby. Um, they beaten us previously twice in the season, so it was good to get the win. And uh, yeah, I was delighted with obviously how I played in that. But more importantly, a big three points. You've been involved in all the games. I think last week was your first start at Oriel since you came back, which which must be nice. Yeah, absolutely. I'd, I'd started, um, I think it was Shells away and Rovers away, but I was looking forward to getting back starting in Oriel since I came back. So, uh, yeah, it was obviously a great atmosphere at the game. Brought a, bit, brought a big crowd and that. So, yeah, it was, it was a nice feeling to be back in Oriel and starting. I'd say it was good cracking the car on the way home. Yourself yeah, as always. Lee. Yeah, yeah, me, Dara Leahy, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Boiler, obviously, as well. I was probably disappointed he didn't get his clean sheet in the end. But, yeah, no, it was a good crack. I was delighted for Dara. Um, the last time I played him at Bowles, he scored in a derby. So, I think he's only ever scored in derbies, really. So, yeah, yeah I was delighted for him, to be honest. You must be disappointed not to get the score sheet yourself. You obviously had the free kick, but the one in the second half. Yeah, probably... definitely disappointed. Um, just went through, and I seen the keeper coming out, and I thought, yeah, like, you know, just slot this in. I don't know what happened at the end. Even watching the back, I don't even know what I was doing. And I think he was giving out. I didn't square to him as well, <laughs> but I didn't even know he was there to be honest. So uh, yeah, I was disappointed. But like, look, the one off the bar as well was uh, disappointing. But that ref ball on him was nice. Nice, nice reception when he was off. And speaking to Stevie after he said. <clears throat> That hopefully would give you confidence. People might look at you and think, Wardy doesn't need confidence. He's 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 got all the confidence in the world. But does that? Do no, you get a standing yeah, ovation yeah, like that? that? No, it is. To be fair, coming off, I, I got a great reception. I've always felt coming back here, and I don't know what it is. They've just talked to me here mm. at this club. Uh, my first stint, I was happy enough with under Steve, and it was up and down. But uh, I always felt I had a good relationship with the fans here, and it's always a bit of crack chatting to anyone. It's mm. a good buzz. So. When I was, I did obviously. I did get a nice reception coming off. It was nice, and uh, yeah, I was, I was happy enough with my performance coming off. So I was thinking it was just for that, really. But uh, no, I was, I was happy with how I done, and the reception I got was lovely. Even, even though you were here before, I'm sure you're like a lot of the new lads. It does take you time because it's a different club to to the club you left. What was it, eight, nine years ago? I'm sure it takes a bit of time to settle into your surroundings and. Obviously, new management, new players. You're like everybody else. In yeah, regard. absolutely. Like obviously, I'm a bit more experienced now, so you don't put as much pressure on yourself to uh, to start well and that. You know, it can take a bit of time. But to be honest, I, I came back here when Stevie gave me the option to come back. I was delighted, but I still feel I have a lot to prove, mm. and I'm still feel I'm a good player in this league, and I can make things happen, and you know, have a big influence on on games and big games. And I feel like I can get a run of games now and start to show me quality and. I think the gaffer backs me in that and the quality around the team I have a lot to play with. Mm. We're third of the way through the season you can you can definitely see it's starting to take shape and it's starting to go in the I think it's the way we all were hoping and we all expected it to go when everybody sort of found their feet. Yeah look um, what we 13 games mm. in is it um, and got the second round of fixtures I, I'm looking at the league and that it's very tight even there's a kind of a bottom tree and then I think it's us Pat Sligo um, Bowes mm. is it and there's not nothing in that but I was chatting during the week and a few of the lads I think even other teams I think no one's really afraid of anyone this year and I think anyone feel like they can take points off each other it's just who can hit a bit of form mm. and be consistent and that and that's what we're hoping to do and I think performances have definitely got a little bit better and we're turning them draws into wins which is good because I don't think we've gave away a lot of goals and defensively look sound and that so if we can build on that and keep performances I think we'll do okay and on that point, I'm sure a lot of people looking UCD, they haven't won a game. People probably think that's a handy three points, but the law of averages, they're going to have to win a game sometime or pick up a point sometime, so we need to be honest. Yeah, like. absolutely. Like They are going to win a game soon. Like They have a lot of good players, yeah. they always do, and they're finding their way in this league. You know That, that first kind of round of games will be a learning curve for them to find out what it's all about and that. And There's no doubt about it, they, they will be a good side. They will pick up results and um, look, we're due an away win and they're doing a win as well. So, look, they're not the easy games. You see these, you're, the teams at the bottom you think are the easy games. They're not. They're the games you have to look after themselves and bring a good attitude. And, you know, the bigger games kind of take care of themselves. Mm. So, we're not for one second taking that as an easy game or a gimme. You had three good years up there. Do you, you enjoy going back? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's a lot of UCD lads here. We big the club up around <laughs> the place, you know, there's a bit of crack there. But uh, a lot of us had great memories there promotions and that winning the fourth division and doing well so uh, it's a great place like it's a great club great place to play your football like your kind of apprenticeship the way it is at UCD and I'm looking at you'll probably look at a team tomorrow and see a lot of them players playing tomorrow be top players in the league in a few years time it's funny I was looking back at one of the games I think it was it might have been a game that sort of Ian Foster looked and said I'll bring in the Oriel I remember it was 2010 he's, he's hammered on dog 3-1 
I think it was yourself and Chris Hall ran right yeah. but looking at the scores Kieran Kilduff and Dave McGuinn were on the score sheet when you look back at the players and as you say there's, there's a handful of them here when you look back at the players they, they bring through it's incredible what they do every year well, actually I do I remember that game really well dodgy, dodgy, you had a dodgy bleach yeah, haircut yeah the hair yeah, was hanging in yeah. back then as well <laughs> um, I think Dundalk were the top of the league at that mm. stage weren't they and they were doing well and Obviously, they came with a big crowd, and there was big ex like they were flying in the league. And I don't know, like we had such good players mm. there at the time. I think Greg Bulger was in the middle with me. You Chris Mahal, the two Macmillans, Dave and Evan. We just had like good players killed off up front, and you look around. But we always knew, like mm. probably didn't know at the time what we were. But when you look back, we had some serious players, and we knew that year if we play well, we were a match for anyone. And that day, it's like we all just turned up and turned it on. It was yeah. just one of them games we all done well. You, you mentioned the crowd, Wardy. It's it's an away game, but. It, no disrespect to you, see, we will have a big following yeah. up there, so you, you can turn that to your advantage in Belfield. Absolutely, and that's the way it is. Uh, when I played there, I always knew, like, I'd look forward to the bigger mm. teams coming because they bring a crowd and you wanted to play in front of the crowd, and no doubt there will be a big crowd. They always do turn up the Dundalk fans, and uh, it's just important to start the game right and get the crowd behind you and try to get an early goal, maybe, and just calm everyone down because. Like the way UCD, a lot of their home games, they've been in the games mm. and they've been winning some games there. That The results haven't been the worst there. So uh, it's important that we start right and take it serious. And as you say, if we can start sort of translating that home form into that sort of form on the road, we, we, we go a long way. Yeah, absolutely. Like To be fair to the gaffer, he spoke at the start of the season that over the years Dundalk has been a fortress here in Oriel and he wanted to get that back. And I think if you can get your home form right, you can the away form kind of takes after itself so we have to start now looking after that and hopefully we can start tomorrow.